everyone, um, it's Laura here from Prequel, and I have a video going on here on how to use the digital coloring pages. So you might have heard that we have all of Susie Quilts' coloring pages now, and you might be wondering, how do I find them? So the first thing to do is go to prequilt.com, and it's going to pop you up at our um, landing page. And if you click here on color pages, it's going to bring you down to kind of a little bit of a slideshow on all the different quilts here but you can click on see all coloring pages and that will open up and bring you to our market page so you'll see a variety of different um, market page designers here and if you don't see Susie up there um, that's fine you can scroll down and she's probably going to be towards the top and you can easily click on color this pattern and that will open up to a Susie Quilts' coloring page. Now, I'm going to go back and say, just say you can't find it easily browsing. Well, when you go back to the market page, you can actually use the search feature here by putting in Susie's name or any of the designer's names and then click open. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring you to Susie's landing page and you're going to get a chance to see all of Susie's quilts here. So you can then click on color this quilt for the quilt that you'd like to make and it's going to open up a separate page and you're back here to the coloring pages. So the first thing I want to note it point out is if you don't have the pattern already you can click on buy the pattern and this is going to go directly to Suzy Quilts's um, online shop where you can then buy the pattern from Suzy and support her directly. We don't sell any patterns. We actually just use that as a way to direct you to where you can buy the pattern. But going back to the digital coloring page, I'm gonna now tell you a little bit about how they're used. So on the far left here, under the left-hand control panel, you're gonna see all the, all the fabrics that are being used here. Uh, you can see that the fabrics are named C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. Um, and these correspond to the naming convention that's found in the pattern, which is uh, color one, color two, color three, color four, and color five. We've actually added also a binding fabric so that you can control that separately from the, each of the fabrics. So you'll see here that the modern fans pattern is reflective of the pattern itself and the instructions in the quilt. But just so you want to color these a little bit differently, and you want to use different fabrics and that's where the digital coloring page can come in really handy. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can intentionally override um, or change the, the fabrics that are being used in the fabric links. So what I'm going to do is go over to edit and I'm going to click on the edit button and it's going to open up um, what we call the solid fabrics color card for art gallery fabrics. And so when you roll over any of the different swatch tiles, it's going to give you a preview of what the quilt would look like using that fabric. And you can kind of really quickly see and get ideas on what this quilt would look like with the fabrics that you might be thinking about. Uh, the next thing, so I'm actually going to use one of Suzy Quilts' um, signature pure solids. I'm going to actually click on Cerulean. So when you click on this, it's now going to save it and you can see that that fabric is now reflected everywhere that the first fabric is being used is now being replaced by the blue cerulean. So that's great. I, I really like the direction that this is going in. I, I, I'm very partial and biased to the love of blue fabrics. But what if you want to use fabrics that are not art gallery? You actually want to use a Kona a Kona solid. Great. So you go back over here to edit and you can see here that before I was looking at art gallery but if you click on this drop down key you can actually see free spirit Kona all of these different solids are here preloaded and so if I click on Kona now I'm going to see the entire Kona color card and we try to organize these by um, color card and then also have the colors of the year down here as well. And so I'm actually going to 
kind of go with a blue that is going to work with that cerulean that I did. And I'm going to click on sky. So now I'm slowly starting to recolor this, um, this quilt pattern with Su by Suzy Quilts in solid fabrics. And I'm switching over to different ones. Um, so the next scenario that I'm going to show you is what if you have a particular solid fabric that you have by name, you know it, and you don't want to go and go searching for it. So I would again go to edit and I'm going to be doing fabric link C3. So when I go to edit, um, I can, I can try and find it here by going through all this and you know, there, there's so many, they look similar or you can go up to sort by name. And now all of the Kona colors are sorted alphabetically. So acid lime and so on. So I'm actually going to be looking for key lime. And so if I go down here, I'm going to look for K. Okay. There we go. Key lime. So that's the fabric that I want to use. It's in my stash. So when I click on it, now you can see that it's been updated to key lime for fabric link C3. And you can see here it's been replaced in all the, in all of these. That's great. So the next thing I'm going to show, I'm going to show you is how to use printed fabric swatches in your coloring pages. So when you go and click on the edit button, we already have one printed uh, solid fabric, um, a printed fabric swatch here, uh, the stripes, and they're in various parts of the quilt. And so when I click on edit, it's going to actually say, go beyond solids and audition prints to your coloring page by upgrading. And this is um, one of the paid features. So when you subscribe to Prequilt, you can then have access to the ability to use printed fabric swatches in your quilt. And so what I'm gonna do is just click on upgrade and that's gonna take you to the plans page, we do have a, a promo going on and there's a Suzy Quilts promo, but you can go here and you can buy a monthly or an annual monthly um, or a basic or a market. So I would say if you're a maker and you just wanna make quilts, the basic is really gonna be um, a good place for you to start. If you're a quilt designer and you have patterns that you wanna make digital coloring pages, you might want to think about the market plan, but I really believe that as a maker of quilts, the basic plan is going to be a really good starting point for you. So you can either choose the monthly or the annual option and then get started. So I'm going to just say that I've, you know, I've upgraded or I'm going to log in. So instead, if you, if you are a subscriber, you can just log in here and I'm going to, I'm gonna just click login. And so now I have access to all the prints here. And so I actually wanna use this Tiny Meadow by um, Suzy Quilts. And so when I click select, you'll see now that that Tiny Meadows has been, has replaced the striped fabrics. And I can then go and click on the X. And you'll see that now this is all saved. Um, the last thing I want to show you is how to use the randomizer. And so what I'm going to do is I, I actually am going to go and I'm going to lock all of these because I've very intentionally selected these fabrics and I don't want to change them. But I'm not sure about this gray. I think maybe maybe something better could happen than the gray. And I can keep this in mind. I can remember Art Gallery and Nebula. Um, but I can go up here and click on Randomize Colors and then it's going to start randomly inputting different colors for that fabric link four. And I actually really kind of like this pickle. So I could, I could kind of save that or I could keep going. But for now, I'm going to just save that. So now I'll just say this is your quilt and you're really happy with it. You can go up here to download image and this will give you, you know, the binding. Um, and it'll give you the, the name of the fabric you want for fabric link C1, fabric link C2, fabric link C3, C4, C5. And so these are all now your, 
your fabrics and you can click here to download and that'll that'll be saved as an independent JPEG with a, that you can then take when you want to go shopping. And so now here you'll see, okay, great. That's, that's great. Now you'll see here that I have a very nice uh, quilt map of the whole thing and I can download that and that'll go up to my um, saved as well. So I'm gonna close that out and now I can now show you Okay, so now I have the design here as very high resolution. And I also have the quilt information that'll tell me the fabrics that I'm being used. And the last thing, if you're a paid subscriber and you're logged in, you can see here that you're logged in, you can now clone this quilt. And that means you can save it. You, you can save it to your dashboard and into your account. So you don't have to make the final revisions now if you want to go back and you're like, okay, I actually am not completely won over by this pickle. Well, I can clone this existing, I can clone the different color way, and then I can continue randomizing. Oh, that might be better. Okay, and I can save it. And so now I can toggle back and forth, like, okay, the original colorway, and then the different colorway. And I can kind of showcase and preview all of the different options that I have there and save it to my account so I can revisit. So I hope that helps give you an idea of how to use the digital coloring pages, why it's really a great feature to to subscribe to Prequel, to save, and to also use printed fabric swatches. And I hope you really enjoy all the Suzy Quilts coloring pages that we now have on Prequilt. Thanks, bye.